baby! Woo! It's steak night in Montreal! Nothing but the best! Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Sandro. Today we're gonna to do something very simple. Cooking with a beautiful steak ribeye. We're gonna get it going. Before we begin, thank you all for tuning in and everybody that's constantly sending me messages from around the world. We're having such a great time, thank you. Quarantine I think is almost over, but before we get to that, let's drink. All right. Red wine today, guys. Red wine. Thank you, Marco at Vinator Wines. As usual, you guys make my day such a blessing. Yes. Hope everybody's having a gorgeous day. Sun's out. Quarantine, I think, is almost over. Still want to apologize for yesterday's audio malfunction. This beautiful Tantila. Thank you, Marco, for this one. I think this is going to be gorgeous. Nice 2014. Today it's going to be a nice dish, the blue, 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 blue crumble, blue crumble, blue cheese crumble. To my cameraman compatriot, to all of you back home, salute. Oh, that's so good. Thank you, Marco. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Very simple. Everybody knows I like rapini. Not the base of the dish, not the big of the dish. She's already washed, salted water. Get it in there, five, ten minutes max just to get some greens on my dish. Next, we're gonna have asparagus going. That ain't the kicker, guys. Asparagus, you all know, just cut the tips off. Wherever they break, that's all you need. Get two, three in your hands. Get these guys, they're already pre-washed. Just a little bit of hot water. Get it all nice. Get some color in there. These guys are done. What else do we need, guys? What else do we need? Our steak, simple. Make sure it's out of the sink, out of the sink, out of the fridge 30 minutes before. You don't want it cold coming out of the fridge. It ain't no good. Get some nice pink salt on there and push it down with your hands. Both sides, get it on there nice. Get your salt going. Next, what do we need? In a skillet, we're gonna get some butter, a little bit of olive oil. Get this guy nice. Let the butter melt. And we're gonna get our steak, put it in there nice, and we're just gonna sear it, just to give it some color. Nothing more than that. Next, what are we gonna do, guys? Get some nice color on this steak, get it in there nice. And then we don't touch it. One minute, one minute, we're gonna finish it on the barbecue. Now, let's get our blue cheese going. This is where it becomes interesting. We're gonna get some nice color on this blue cheese. This guy doesn't wanna work with me today. Okay, so we're gonna get some olive oil just in our pan. Medium, medium high. Gonna get some butter and let the butter melt. She's gonna come to a melt, nice. And once we're gonna get in there, we're gonna grab him and we're gonna add some more things to our steak, to our sauce. Flip our steak, just to get some color in there. All right, while this comes up, nice medium temp, I'm gonna get some garlic. I'm gonna chop some garlic in here nice. Add it to the mix. And you don't want it too minced. But you don't want it too much chunk, so you gotta find your perfect blend. Just one close should be enough. And you get it in there. There we go. Add it in there. Then we're gonna grab some green onion. One or two, it's really up to you. I like the green onion, but we're not gonna get the top part of it, we're just gonna get the bottoms. Chop it and mince it nice. This guy's gonna be part of your crumble. Get some color in there. All right, once the color gets on there nice, we're gonna add a little bit of beef stock. Now that we have our color on our steak, we're gonna grab him and we're gonna put him on our barbecue. Throw him in there. This guy, we don't need him anymore. He's done. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of beef broth. Not too much. Once these guys get in, we're gonna come and deglaze our pan. Just a little touch. Let it come to a boil. While that's happening, you can get your whipping cream ready. 
Get your color in there and add a little bit of whipping cream. Just enough to give it a nice base. Let this guy come. Add a little bit of salt, not too much because you put it already on your steak. But you are going to add the pepper in here. You're going to get some pepper in there, nice big chunks. You guys know the way I like my chunks. Get a nice bed in there, nice. Let this come to a boil, reduce. Now where's our kicker, guys? Where's our kicker tonight? Green pepper. Going to get it in the blue cheese. Again, you don't have to tell people, but that's your kicker. Just get a little bit nice and thin, right? Add it in the mix. Nice spicy kick, you know? Want that, you need that. Fresh blue cheese. We're gonna crumble this guy. Little pieces, all nice. She's gonna be amazing. We're gonna grab this guy here, take him with us. Add it to the mix. Add it, reduce to nothing. Add some more. Add some more. Crumble it in there. Look how gorgeous that cheese is. Look how gorgeous. Next, while this is all coming together, you're gonna grab your whisk and you're gonna whisk it in there nice. This is gonna come all together just perfect. Let it heat up and she's almost done. She's gonna come up to temp and leave it in there. What else? We're gonna start prepping our plate, guys. Prepping our plate. What do we need here? These asparagus, they're done, right? We're gonna get them out of the water. Just add a little bit of butter. Flip our steaks, done. Add a little butter in here. Rapinis are done. We're gonna strain these guys. Ready to have my strainer in here? Get them off. Get rid of all that water. And we're gonna prep our plate. Just to add a little color. Beautiful. Next, these guys, they're done. Have a little color in them. What do you wanna add? You wanna add a little salt? We'll add a little salt in the mix. Get him in there, flip him in there nice. What else do we need? Grab our thongs, grab him up, start plating. Add it to the mix. What else guys? Our steak, she's almost done, almost done. Our blue crumble, she's ready to come alive. Now, your steak, what do you wanna do? We could take him right away, put him on your plate. Just let him rest there. Normally you would let him rest for about three minutes, two, three minutes, not more than that. But in the meantime, grab your blue cheese, add it on there nice, add it on there nice. Let it all take, let it absorb, let it come together nice. What are we gonna do guys? We're gonna slice it nice. Okay, we're gonna slice these guys. Get all that crumble. This steak is perfectly done. Thank you, Barry Meats. Thank you, Barry Meats. And you can continue slicing it down. It doesn't get any better than that. The color is spectacular. Grab a little cilantro, guys. Fresh cilantro. I love cilantro. Add it just on top there. Just nice. Just a little nice. A little kicker. Hey, okay? Want to get a little more fancier than that? You can't. You can add some more. Grilled peppers, if you want to add grilled peppers, guys. But this is the way I serve a nice blue cheese, spicy blue cheese crumble here at Cooking with Sandro. I hope all of you really enjoyed this dish. Thing was about 10 minutes. Thank you to Barry Meats. Thank you to Marco at Vinator. Thank you everybody for tuning in from around the world. I love you all. See you guys tomorrow. Cheers.